Sony has just announced a new model in its Nex compact system camera range, the Nex C3, which is a replacement for the Nex 3. It's available in this smart black and also in a silver version, and you can see there's also a new flash gun to go with this system as well. The most obvious physical difference between the Nex C3 and its predecessor, the Nex 3, is in the physical dimensions. If I put the two side by side, you can see they managed to shave a significant amount off the size of the camera. And this is the Nex C3 here, it's much smaller than the Nex 3. It's also lighter, it's only 225 grams. So the Nex C3 is now the smallest and lightest interchangeable lens camera in the world. And as you can see, it's really hardly any bigger than some of their Cybershot cameras and yet it contains an APS-C size sensor, exactly the same as found in some of their alpha cameras. Now the Nex C3 has been upgraded on the inside as well, going from a 14.2 megapixel sensor which is on the Nex 3 to a 16.2 megapixel Exmor CMOS sensor on the Nex C3. Now Sony has also introduced a new photo creativity menu accessed from the iAuto mode, which gives you access to some of the effects and uh, features of the camera, including uh, being able to adjust the colour, brightness in a simple non-technical way, background defocus. There's also a new range of picture effects, which um, include a posterization, black and white and colour, uh, pop, pop colour, which is like an ultra-saturated effect, retro photo, um, a partial colour, which you can select red, green, blue or yellow and just have the rest of the picture as mono. Um, a partial colour green, there you go, blue and yellow. Um, a high key effect, um, high contrast mono and a toy camera effect. Of course it includes all the key features from the other next cameras including uh, 1080 full HD uh, video recording, there's a 3D sweet panorama mode, there's an auto HDR mode, there's a uh, twilight mode and anti-blur modes using the uh, technology that is familiar now on the um, Alpha as well as the next range of cameras. Despite the camera being smaller, Sony has also managed to improve the battery life of the camera, a 20% increase over the next three, taking it from a 320 shot battery to a 400 shot battery. But one of my favourite new features of this camera is in the manual focus mode, they've created this thing called a peaking function, which highlights in a choice of colours, yellow, red or white, the areas it's like a marker, like a highlighter marker, over the areas that the camera is focused upon. And this makes it much easier to focus manually. And this works not just with next lenses, but with the older alpha lenses and old manual focus lenses when attached via the um, alpha mount adapter. Now the Nex C3 feels like a big improvement over the Nex 3. Not only is it uh, smaller, lighter, it feels better. The, the, I have to say the black um, livery with the sort of silver top looks great. It looks a lot nicer, I think, than the pure silver. And if you compare the uh, Nex C3 with the Nex 3, it just looks a lot more modern, a lot slicker. Um, this, the Nex 3 is only a year old, already looks kind of dated by comparison. Now there's a new flash as well, the HVL F20S, which is an optional accessory for the Nex system. Unlike the uh, guide number of 7, which is the flash that comes with the camera, this is the guide number of 20. It has a, um, a bounce head and a zoom, a clever zoom attachment built into it. It's very small and compact and fits into the accessory uh, port on the top. Now there's no price announced yet, um, but the camera is expected to be available around mid-August.